I already told you I can't pick Sophia up from school. I have a very important client meeting this afternoon. I can't lose any more clients. I understand that, but... Oh, you know what? No! No! Okay? No! I'm gonna hang up. Everything okay? No. It's not. It sounds like a bad day. Who are you? I'm just trying to... Do you mind? Okay. It's just that, okay, this morning, there was no hot water in my apartment because management decided they have to do emergency repairs. After that, I couldn't get a cab to the office, so I had to take a train. And after all that, I tried to come here to relax and clear my head, and these bosses are trying to raise the debt. So, it's pretty much the worst day of my life at this point. Are you new around here, mister? Mr. Fisher. Joe Fisher. Henry. Hey, Henry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you're new? Yeah, I'm new. Um, Newish. How's the neighborhood treating you? It's all right. Yeah. Doesn't sound all right. I don't want this to be about me. Tell me about you. My bad's already. My day's already bad enough. Do you live around here? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I used to live around here. Okay. Which house? Um. Right here, actually. Yeah, I know, here, but there's, there's 20 houses. No, oh, Joe. Sorts of building. Joe. Joe. Right here. This bench. Right here. What are you saying? I used to live on this bench. I was homeless. Are you serious? I'm serious. I just don't. You can't be serious. Like, I, I don't get me, you seem so you're well dressed, you're put together, you're sociable, I don't, I don't. Um, I made some bad decisions in my life and um, I don't know, you learn from them. After 22 years, here I am. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding. What, how did, if you don't mind, like what happened? You want me to go into detail? I mean, if you, if you don't, I mean, if, you, if you're okay with that. <laughs> um. I don't know. You know, this bench sobers you up, opens your eyes. You got dreams, hopes, forget it. What matters is where your next food is coming from. When's your next shower? Where's your next dollar? But wouldn't dreaming kind of help you through it a little bit? You'd think. If I had no dignity left, I had 20 people a day come up to me and say, get a job, kid. Why don't you have a job, kid? You get tired after a while. And I'd go to interviews and they'd take my application and say, write down your number, we'll call you. Where are they gonna call? I have no home. So what ultimately happened? I mean, you don't live on the bench anymore. No. You know, I remember this one day, this guy comes up to me and he says, he says, where are you from, kid? Nice shoes, kid. Nice hair, kid. I'm like, you know, just there. And, uh, and as while we're speaking, I could tell he could see the character in me, you know? And he said, you have a good handshake, kid. And, and then he offered me this opportunity and I acted on it. Here I am. You know, Joe, I'm not trying to tell you to live your life, but don't sweat the small stuff. You don't live on a bench, do you?